Hey guys, it's me Dave and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars 2021 set review. Today we have Trouble on Tatooine, it's set number 75299. I believe it has like 274 pieces, I believe, and this set is going to retail 30 US dollars. Now the set was provided by LEGO, that's why it has this uh, yellow not for sale sticker because it is a review unit. So for those of you wondering why I have it a little bit early, that is why. Uh, here's the back of the box, uh, pretty simple, uh, but man, I can't wait to get into this review. Just a quick note, this box size is actually exactly the same size as the 501st Battle Pack, which I thought was uh, kind of funny, but let's go ahead and jump into the set. And here's the set, guys. As you can see, it's actually a pretty good size. I am really, really a big fan of it, but let's go ahead and dive into these minifigures, and then we'll take a look at the rest of the set. All right, so first up is a Tuscan Raider. So we've gotten this figure before. There's nothing too new about him. Uh, I do enjoy this new molded head that we've had for quite a little bit now. Uh, I think a lot of fans really like him. As you can see, he does come with his weapon of choice, um, but it's not necessarily a weapon either. Who knew also that uh, <laughs> uh, sand people could uh, communicate with uh, sign language of all things, uh, as we learned from the Mandalorian. But yes, a excellent figure, and I'm glad to have another one in this set. After that, we have the child, and this is the same Baby Yoda, or the child, whatever you want to call him, that you get in both the Razor Crest and the child buildable statue figure, uh, but at a much lower cost. This is the first time you've been, ever been able to get Baby Yoda at a set lower than $80, so this is a great way to get him if you don't want to uh, get the Razor Crest or his buildable statue figurine as well. So. Excellent, great looking minifigure. You can pop this head off if you want to, uh, but man, he looks great and he fits in the Mandalorian's hand very well. And now on to the real reason why you buy this set, the Beskar Armor Mandalorian. So this is the updated version of the Mandalorian that we see basically after, what, chapter three of the show. And from there on out, he basically looks like this. And this is the first time we've gotten this figure. Previously, we've gotten this figure right here, which is from basically the first episode of the show, where he had some dingy armor except for his helmet. Uh, quick note about the old version, not only has the, uh, the pants color and the tor torso color changed, but also the helmet. The helmet is now this flat silver versus the uh, flat grayish metallic uh, helmet that we've gotten before. Let me know down in the comments, what helmet do you prefer? Do you like the darker gray or the flat silver of the new Beskar Armor Mandalorian? I have to say, I think the reason why they went with the flat silver helmet is to better match the metallic printing on the side of the torso, legs, and arms. That's right, this is a figure with the very rare arm printing. Lego does not arm print their figures very often. It's very rare, especially in a Star Wars set that's usually reserved for uh, Ultimate Collector series sets. Let me go ahead and take this cape off and take his two weapons off. As you can see, he does actually come with the pistol and this is the same weapon uh, that he gets in previous sets as well. And to answer a big question, no, there is still no face under the helmet, even though it was revealed at the end of the first season of the show. Uh, regardless, just look at all of this detail. You can see my, uh, my little pointer here reflects on the armor because it is using reflective uh, prints on this minifigure. Oh my God, it's just beautiful. I am in love with this figure and it continues on the back torso. This is metallic printing for the Beskar armor as well. And then look at this. You have a mud horn printed on his shoulder armor right there just amazing. You have the little control pad. Beautiful figure. Oh my god. This has to be one of the best LEGO Star Wars minifigures I've ever seen. Uh, it's gorgeous, honestly. Really a big reason to purchase this set just to get this minifigure. I also like the uh, the dark brown underneath of it. I think it, it's actually very accurate, even though the old one had uh, a different type of uh, tan and gray going on. Uh, this is actually, believe it or not, the accurate uh, coloring. So Lego just knocked it out of the park with this figure. All right, so now moving into the set, I do also want to mention uh, a small nitpick about the Mandalorian figure. The actual figure printing, brilliant, perfect, no complaints, helmet looks great. I do wish we got a jetpack because 
This set is based off the first episode of the second season. It's very clear that the Mandalorian had a jetpack most of the time during that episode, and I really wish we got a flat silver colored jetpack also included. You do get a backpack, but not a jetpack. So that's the only thing I really have to complain about with this set, but it's not a deal breaker. Now moving on, as you can see here, this is the speeder you get. I have his weapons attached. You can put both of them, both the pistol and the main rifle on both sides. So that looks really good. Uh, this part right here does move a little bit. When you attach the hands like this to the handlebar of the speeder bike, it does lift it up slightly. And so then the speeder kind of becomes a little unbalanced. Um, not, a, not a big deal, but just thought I'd know that. Obviously, if you take the hands off, you can reorient the handlebar so it is more balanced to this. Um, now over here, there is, I believe it's a new piece. It might not be. They might have used this in Lego City before to carry uh, baby Lego figures, but you can take baby Yoda here and put them in this little, uh, little cradle. It's hilarious looking. I love that. Uh, a lot of great details here on the speeder bike. It's very accurate looking to the one that we see in the show. Um, moving on over here, we have the Tusken Raider tent. Um, so it looks pretty good. Uh, it's like kind of like a half-built tent. Uh, it is a little funny they included it. I don't remember really being inside a tent in The Mandalorian. I might be wrong. Uh, you do see Tusken Raider tents in Attack of the Clones. Certain scenes happen with Anakin Skywalker with the tent. So uh, I'm, I'm kind of shocked they actually included it. Uh, but it can open like this. There is a little pot here if you want to you know, cook something over the fire. Uh, there's just a little top part here, a little, I guess, a table. Um, and then as for the fire, it's, it's pretty simple. You can kind of just put the uh, Tuscan Raider here. There's a little spot to put his, uh, his weapon as well. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a simple build and it gets the job done. Now the last thing here is this. This is what they use to destroy the crate Dragon in the Mandalorian uh, episode of season, first episode of season two. And it's very accurate looking actually. I'm, I'm very shocked. Um, there's also a clear brick here to I guess hold up these uh, these legs. I don't know if it's actually necessary, but uh, you know you wind this up and you, you pull back the the spear that will attach here. And for Lego purposes, they've used the spring-loaded missiles, which actually really works in this case. Um, and you'll also notice you get for the first time a, a flat silver uh, missile. Usually these come in a uh, translucent color, and it's the first time we've gotten a flat silver. I gotta say I really like the look of this. Uh, but yeah, you just hold that down, it'll shoot off like that. Uh, a lot of great details, you can move these if you want. Um, you can take a Tuscan Raider as well and kind of have him, you know, guide the, the weapon however you want. So that's how you attach a minifigure to it. And that's about it to the set. It's pretty simple, uh, but it gets the job done and it's, it's definitely really accurate looking. All of these things look great to their uh, movie and TV show counterparts, so really not much to complain about at all. Uh, yeah, I gotta say, I'm very impressed. So other than the fact that we didn't get a flat silver jetpack in this set, I really have nothing else to say other than the fact that this is a perfect set with a really incredible minifigure. Honestly, I hope in the future we get more arm printing. It's unlikely, but I really hope that happens. Again, Lego skimps out on arm printing all the time. Uh, so it's, it's rare to see, and I hope that's not the case in the future, but it probably will be. Uh, overall, $30 for this set, absolutely worth it. A day one purchase for sure. If you're, if you're just any type of fan of The Mandalorian, you have no reason not to go out and pick up this set. It's fantastic. I do, again, want to thank LEGO for providing this set for review. I am unbiased here, and I'm telling you, this thing's fantastic, okay? I, I have no complaints, and this is a an essential figure if you bought the uh, the Razor Crest or even the ATST Raider set, any of the Mandalorian sets, you, you're gonna want this best car armor Mandalorian figure, and it comes in such a reasonably priced set. So excellent all, all around, great job, Lego. I really hope to see more sets like this in the future. That's it, guys. Definitely stay tuned for all of my winter 2021 sets. They'll all be reviewed on my channel. So if you're not, hit the subscribe button down below. Leave this uh, video a big thumbs up if it was helpful. That'll be it. Hope you guys have a great, wonderful day. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.